Absolute Value Equations, Part 4. In this lesson, you will be learning how to solve absolute value equations by adding or subtracting. By doing what? Good. Now, unfortunately, it did not work out with Mr. Ten. So, Miss Absolute Value decided to give Mr. Negative 7 a try. Now, Mr. Negative 7 and Miss Absolute Value get together. And when two things or people get together, you are doing what to them? Adding. That's right. But then, out of nowhere, Miss Absolute Value says to Mr. Seven, You know what, Mr. Seven? You are too negative for me. I need to be with somebody positive. Mr. Seven goes, But baby, but baby, I could be positive. Just watch. Just watch. If you add seven to both sides, look at what happens to the equation. Okay, the opposite of negative seven is positive seven. So you have to do that to both sides of the equation. Is that right? But what happens when you have a negative 7 and a positive 7? They make 0. So Miss Absolute Value says, but honey, you don't change. Be negative. So I can be single. So you have negative 7 and positive 7 is 0. So that goes away. Now Mr. 7 is completely out of the equation. Or is he? Where is he now? He's on the other side. Okay? So whenever you talk about a T-bone steak, what you're really doing is you are moving Mr. 7 from one side of the equation to the other. Okay? So now you have the absolute value of V plus 7 now equals what is 8 plus 7? 8 plus 7 is 15. Very good. So now Miss Absolute Value can be single again so she can hook up with whoever she wants. Okay? And when you have absolute value equations, you read this as, read it with me, Naomi, the absolute value of V plus 7 equals 15. Okay? So, you have a whole equation. What kind of a map do you have to draw? A brace map. That's right. So, your brace map is like this. Okay. So, you know you have two equations, right? How do you know this? Because, ready? Absolute value equations have two answers. One's positive and one's negative. So the first one, and remember that you must do what? You have to drop the absolute value. So you have x plus 7 now equals 15. Okay. x plus 7 equals 15. And what is the second equation? x plus 7 equals, what goes here? Negative 15. All right? So now we solve for x in both equations. You circle x, draw a t-bone state. What do you have to do to both sides if this is positive 7? What is the opposite of positive 7? Negative 7. So subtract 7 from both sides. You 7 take away 7. What is 7 take away 7 when you have the same number at the top, but then you have the opposite number? That gives you 0. So V equals 15 take away 7. Now I want you to think about this, okay? If you know that 8 plus 7 is 15, 8 plus 7 is 15, then what is 15 take away 7? Look at the numbers. You have 8, 7, and 15. You have 8, 7, and 15. So V equals 8 is one of the answers. Okay, we're going to go ahead and solve for the second equation. You have to circle V because that's what you're trying to find. Make a T-bone stake. Really what you're doing now is you're moving that positive 7 over, aren't you? And the only way you can move it over is if you change the sign. 
So think about it like this now. What is the opposite of positive 7? I always ask you that, right? And you tell me, oh, it's negative 7, Ms. Cotran. So we're subtracting 7 from both sides, but really all we did is moved a positive 7 over to the other side and we made it negative, okay? So 7 take away 7 is 0. V equals 15 and negative 7. Look at the numbers. Negative 15 and negative 7. Are they the same signs or different signs? Are they the same signs or different signs? They are the same. So you say, same signs, add and keep. So this is what that means. It means you add 15 plus 7, but you keep the negative. So 15 plus 7, let's go ahead and add the 1's place. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry the 1, that's 22. So it's negative 22. Okay? So these are your two answers for um, an absolute value equation where you had to add in order to get the absolute value isolated so she could be single yet again. See you tomorrow. I'm wishing on a star to follow